So you might be surprised, but there are quite a few different vote requirements for California legislative actions and bills. Most capital observers are only aware of majority and two thirds vote requirements for California legislation. However, there are actually several other categories of vote requirements on bills that come before the legislature. So I want to go through some of those different categories on bills and motions. So majority vote, of course, in the Constitution, that is the default, 21 votes in the Senate and 41 votes in the Assembly. Um, however, despite the fact that it's the basic vote threshold, there are other provisions that also require a majority vote, such as to adopt, amend, or suspend rules unless they provide otherwise. Again, to pass a bill <clears throat> unless a greater vote threshold is required, to adopt a joint or concurrent resolution, to reconsider a bill or a joint or concurrent resolution, to confirm an appointment by the governor unless a greater vote is required by statute, to recall a bill from committee, to concur in the other house's amendments unless it requires a, a larger majority, to change a rate of tax, to strike a measure from the file. What the next threshold is two thirds. So we all know bills containing an urgency clause, tax increases, those require two thirds votes, but also the amendments to the Political Reform Act, constitutional amendments are also some that require a two thirds vote of each body which is 27 votes in the Senate and 54 votes in the Assembly. But there are some other measures that require a two thirds. Again, we've mentioned to pass an urgency statute, also to dispense with the constitutional required three readings of a bill on three separate days, to pass a bill over the governor's veto, to prescribe compensation and reimbursement for travel and living expenses of legislators, to propose an amendment or a revision to the Constitution, to amend or withdraw a constitutional amendment, to classify or exempt personal property from property taxation, to, to permit an exemption from real property taxation, to remove a member of the PUC, to rescind the action whereby a bill has been passed or defeated, to suspend the rule against lobbying in the chamber, to concur in amendments or adopt a report of a committee on a constitutional amendment, to amend an initiative statute that permits that action and requires a two thirds vote. There's also a three fourths vote. So the California constitution requires that a bill not be heard or acted upon a, uh, until the 31st day after introduction. <clears throat> to waive this requirement, it requires a three fourths vote, 30 votes in the Senate, 60 votes in the assembly. That vote threshold also applies to a motion to postpone the reconsideration of a vote beyond the first legislative day after the day the reconsideration motion was made. There's also a 70% vote threshold, 28 votes in the Senate or 56 votes in the Assembly. And this is to pass a bill amending the uh, statutory provisions of the California Stem Cell Research and Cures Act, or to pass a bill amending the provisions of the Victims Bill of Rights Act. The highest threshold is four fifths. It's the final category. That's 32 votes in the Senate and 64 votes in the Assembly. And it applies to bills that amend the Tobacco Tax and Health Restoration Act bills to amend the Clean Air and Transportation Improvement Act of 1990, as well as the California Wildlife Protection Act of 1990. 
and my apologies, the final category is seven eighths, which is for any bills to amend Prop 22, which provides for the independent contractor status of app-based drivers that was enacted in November 2020 by the voters. And so there are actually six categories of vote requirements rather than two that most people um, are familiar with, majority and two thirds. Granted, these higher vote thresholds uh, don't come off, don't come up on the floors of the Assembly and Senate too often, but still it's helpful to be aware that there are four additional vote categories beyond majority and two thirds that are used in the California legislature. 